If you need to automatically generate sequential serial numbers or index numbers for your rows, you have two distinct methods at your disposal using either the subtotal or aggregate function. Both methods work regardless of whether you delete, hide rows, or apply filters. To begin, enable a filter by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus L. Then, place your cursor in cell A2. For the first method, you'll use the subtotal function. The first argument in the subtotal function will be three, which refers to the count of function. You can either type the number directly or double click to select it. After that, type B2, press F4 to make B2 an absolute reference, and then type B2 again. This setup counts each row incrementally using the first one as a reference, so the numbers increase sequentially. Press Enter, and then apply the formula to the remaining rows by double-clicking the fill handle. Now, if you apply a filter, such as selecting rows where a favorite color is red, you'll notice the serial numbers automatically adjust. Similarly, if you highlight a row and press Ctrl plus 9 to hide it, the serial numbers will still update accordingly. You can modify the subtotal formula to use function number 103 instead. To do this, adjust the cell reference to make the row fixed and the column dynamic. After applying the updated formula to the other rows, you'll see the serial numbers continue to adjust when you apply filters e.g. filtering for blue or hide rows. The second method for generating sequential serial numbers is to use the aggregate function. Start by typing equals aggregate and set the first argument to count a, then type five to ignore hidden rows, followed by B2. Make B2 an absolute reference by pressing F4, and then type B2. Close the parentheses and press enter, then apply the formula to the remaining rows. This approach works similarly to the subtotal method. If you apply a filter, such as selecting zones north and south, or hide multiple rows using Ctrl plus 9, the serial numbers will remain in sequential order. These are the two reliable methods to generate sequential serial numbers while dynamically adapting to filters and hidden rows. Like and follow for daily tips.